Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. What was it? Oh, yeah. The song that I'm getting for you guys, and I'll leave it in the description box below, is... Um, oh God. What's the name of the song? Bring me down, bury me, bury me, I am. Jared Leto, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars, The Kill. What if I wanted to fight? Beg for the rest of my life, what would you do? You say you wanted more. What are you waiting for? I'm not running from you. Yeah, that's what I got going on for you in the head here. Let's see how this reading comes out. All right, so where you're at right now. Standing in your truth, being fair to people, it's crossing you is showing off, showing your talent. Not sure if you want something and being stuck. All right. When pigs fly, just saying. Okay, so we're in the Queen of Swords energy, cutting a bitch. You're done playing. No more drama. And then comes along drama. Queen of Wands. Somebody who's very attractive. Somebody who is a go-getter. Takes no shit. Um, definitely a manifestation queen. Male or female. Distant past, we have the Knight of Wands. That's playing and having a good time. Most recent past is getting a wish. Getting something that you've wished for. Something that comes from your heart. Okay, there's healing taking place here as well. In the immediate future, we have Pisces energy. The hanged man or woman. In this case, it's a woman, but it still says hanged man. Um... That's in suspended animation being held up, possibly by outside situations. Factors affecting the situation is a message, a quick message from somebody that you wanted to hear from. And they talking now. And now you're bored. We got, we got you sitting in this energy of the outside influences being bored in your situation that you have right now. I usually don't see it like that, but for some reason with you Capricorn, I'm seeing boredom. Hopes and fears. Scorpio energy. Transformation. You want something to transform in your life because you're tired of being stuck. Stuck. And this is all self-imposed prison. You're only stuck if you think you're stuck. I do believe there are outside sources, though, holding you up. And it, and it could be something to do with this um, eclipse and this full moon in Scorpio, which is death. And that will bring you a transformation. And I think you're just waiting for it. You're just, you're just waiting for that perfect timing that just calls out to your soul. Let's get some clarification, shall we? What is this Queen of Wands about? What is this Queen of Wands about? What is this challenge for my Capricorns? It could be you if you are you got Aries in your chart because you haven't, if you got Aries in your chart, you're having a hard time keep, keeping control of your temper. I can already feel that. Uh, working things out. You're fighting with this person. Could be a Scorpio, because I got Scorpio three times here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But your challenge is to get past the drama. To get past it. To be able to move forward and pull something back from the dead because it's definitely dead. You're at a crossroads right now and not sure what to do. This Scorpio full moon is definitely affecting you, Capricorn, big time. You're not sure whether you should send this message or not. You want to. You're at a crossroads. You're, you're, it's like there could be an age difference. Ooh. Just saying. Aries energy. That's the boss. That is the pushy, bossy energy of the Aries. And they pay an awful lot of attention to you, Capricorn. With the, with the Page of Swords there, they know you are their truth, period. Point blank. Um, King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's got their shit together, guys. So, with this hanged man, we have... This person is so stuck on you. And they are stressing the hell out because they can't do anything about it. They want to show you love. They want to be in your life. They want to be part of your life. But for some reason, they in the Nine of Swords energy. They, they stressed out. They don't know what to do. So, they may even be lo losing sleep over this because it's their truth. It's, their, it's what they truly, truly want. The King of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. They truly want you and they feel like they can't have you. That's in your immediate future. Somebody's about to come and tell you the truth about how they feel. All right, yeah. So this took a while. This took a while. It's like you guys have been separated for some time. The message that came in here though Either you sent it or you received it. Ah. We got a little manipulation going on here, do we? Trying to bring balance to a situation where once was betrayed. And somebody's depressed. It's like they've got everything. But they can't pull themselves out of that Ten of Swords, Five of Cups energy. It's like they balance their money. They balance their life. This King of Swords is sticking out to me for some reason. They may have air in their chart. Or you may have air in your chart. Venus rising. Sagittarius energy with temperance. Putting pieces together to get that ten of pentacles which is what you're looking for and then we got the ten of swords and the five of cups so maybe you didn't get what you wanted here and you feel betrayed by this person and it's really bumming you out Let's see what the Four of Cups is all about. This boredom. What What is this boredom? And I do feel like it's boredom, guys. I don't feel like it's anything else. I feel like there's nothing exciting going on. And you want to make something exciting happen because you're bored. Well, bring that drama to, drama to your house if you ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Especially through the Scorpio full moon. Please stop with the drama. There's going to be so many things hidden that come out. You're going to have enough to worry about just by looking on the outside of you. Yeah. Three of fate. This was brought to you by fate. Brought to you by fate. Um, at least you're going within to seek your answers about why y'all hurt each other. And I think you figure it out this, this full moon. Because 
It's almost like you're waiting to talk to this person. You're in hermit time. Hermit time. I got t-shirts. Um, got Pisces. Got Virgo. Got Scorpio here. So, I do feel like this person, you've been waiting to see what they do and, and, and they haven't done anything. They're not doing anything. They're waiting. And I think it's pissing you off. Just saying. You're about to drop the tower or the tower's about to drop on you because if you live anything outside of your truth, it's not going to work. It's going to come all come crashing down in that tower. So you may be experiencing that right now. Your heart yearns for something more than what is in your life right now. Let's see what the death card is all about. Having the strength to be single. Okay, we got healing. We got a wish here. A wish being granted. I do feel like you're in La La Land. And you're trying to have the strength to overcome these illusions that have put you in a place where you feel stuck. So that is what your transformation is all about. Is the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Strength card, and the Seven of Cups. Seeing through the illusions. Having the strength to see through the illusions. And to be able to discern what is best for you. We have uh, the Nine of Pentacles here, which I feel like that is you, Capricorn. Being la-la-la and enjoying your life. All right? And I think that's what you want to do. You just want to, you just want to be happy. You're going to get your wish. What is this Eight of Swords about, Spirit? That's the final outcome. What is this Eight of Swords about? There's your wish. As you wish. I'm hearing that like 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 a genie in a bottle. As you wish. You're about to get your wish. You may be dealing with a cancer. We've got a little bit of everything on the board. But we have the chariot. We have the eight of cups. We have the king of wands. Perfect match. Two of Wands and the Four of Wands. You about to walk away from it. You about to Eight of Cups, a King of Wands ass. And choose your home. Choose what feels right to you. And this is going to happen really fast because the Chariot is the fastest moving card in the deck. So you're very quickly going to walk away. From a king of wands very quickly this is gonna happen like overnight and you're gonna choose stability peace sanctuary all right <clears throat> that is your wish peace stability and sanctuary that is very Capricornian of you What is this Three of Wands for Spirit's Advice? Huh. Queen of Pentacles. So, as soon as all this flows over, um, you know, because you got a lot of people running their mouth about you, and you're, you're so over this, you're so bored with this, it's like, I got the Four of Cups again, you are so over this celebration of whatever this is. I, I think it's a people, a group of people with the five of wands here. A group of people that like to run their mouth and talk shit and, and uh, hate on you. You're over it. Uh, bored with it, actually. We got the three of cups, the three of 
fates and the seven of pentacles this was faded so you could see it in real time the reason why this is happening to you now 33 is big number here is because you are seeing through the illusions you are seeing through the untruths of the world that's why you're bored is because you're like on another on another planet right now outside of earth because you you're seeing things your third eye is coming online and you're seeing it for what it is so good on you I mean congratulations that's all I got to say about that but you're looking back you're looking back like hmm wonder if I missed anything hmm wonder if I missed out on anything that's the that's the energy that you need to transmute transform is to stop worrying about if you missed anything if it's in your life and you manifested it that way then it was meant to be there okay bottom line anything that is not of your highest good and not good for you will eclipse itself out after this full moon so you won't you won't even have to deal with it anymore all right let's see what the kippers got to say kippers 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 my eyes are all swollen i had to walk outside guys and because I had to walk outside, I can't breathe now. Since it's nasty, gotta love it. New journey coming up. There's something. Wow. Okay, so. Somebody's about to come into some money. Some legal situation. Adjudication. Main female court courthouse and pathway so yeah there's some kind of a significant uh court case here i don't know who you are but you're about to win it okay you're about to win uh man this weather's killing me guys 50 degrees one day, 80 degrees the next. I'm going home. I want to go home. See, I don't, I'm not rushing it though because if Spirit wanted me to hurry up and leave, Spirit would make sure that I got what I need. And, and that's what we all got to get to is knowing that the universe got us. No matter what. No matter what we choose. You know? As long as we're standing in our integrity, that is all that matters. Being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Major shift. Major, major shift for you. Alright. The butterfly. Relationship evolving. Oh, yeah. There's Stefan. I think you're involved with somebody right now. With that 33 up there, I think you're already involved with somebody right now. And that's about to be over. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got some some of each other's stuff here because that you, it's like you can't stop thinking about each other. Whoever this Aries is or this this masculine is, you guys can't stop thinking about each other. And endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Union, wedding, soul connection, eternal love everlasting promise new phase rekindle renew transformation growth changed mind so i think you're changing your mind about the partner that you're with and you want more excitement in your life so you're going towards something else and something is about to transform it is the phoenix rising so something is definitely about to transform in your life because you put it out there to the universe to manifest it and it's coming it's manifesting right underneath your nose behind the scenes 
There's some haters here, though. You're going to have to deal with the haters to get what you want. That's how I see this. So, you get what you want. People may be hating on you, but you're going to get what you want. You're going to transform everything that's in your life right now into what you want as opposed to what you got. Okay? Wow. So those are your messages. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Press the like button. It helps me a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye.